Sweat Equity Podcast and streaming show. This is going to be a little NPR style. Yeah, we'll do it quiet. We're going quiet today because we're tired. I did it before you said that. Ooh, synchronicities. Much baby kisses. Um, see, now it's me doing it. Yeah, you're doing it, dude. Uh, number one comedy business podcast in the world. Pragmatic entrepreneur advice with real raw dog talk. <laughs> Listen to us on iTunes, Apple Podcasts, Spotify. Uh, this episode sponsored by Squarespace. Create a customizable website or online store, all in one solution from Squarespace. See, I'm, re- I'm just nailing the copy, dude. I, I can know. Re- I can read out loud. Choose a website template and start your free trial today by hitting that promo code in the description. Hooks the show up, hooks us up, and look, you need a website. Everybody needs a website, even if you're not an entrepreneur yet. You should have one for your professional. Yeah, you barely have to do anything with Squarespace. Wink, wink. Get like Eric three images. You need to revive generic Eric. Oh, right. Under a different domain. Domain. Yeah. Domain. You can, hey, if you, sign, if you sign up for annual, you'll get a free domain and free uh, Google Workspace web s- or email with Squarespace. That's probably in the copy that we should put in there. It's probably in the copy? It's probably, man, I need, some, in there I need some coffee stat. Yeah, I know. It's too bad. You want to be our BFF? Subscribe to the pod, rate us five-star review, write a little short review, and share this with that family member that you had to talk to that you didn't want to talk to but you need a follow-up to end that button you know button that conversation you had you know if it's somebody you're trying to connect with take a shot with like us. i talked about steroids with my older cousin that does crossfit and she was like illuminated that everybody in my age bracket did steroids in high school i did it obviously uh, we were the only two i yeah, know let's get it going hotty toddy okay it's one. sweat equity Sweat equity. Sweat equity. Sweat equity. Sweat equity. You are listening to the Sweat Equity Podcast. Thanks, Sweat Equity. Oh, man, that is some good voiceover. He's got a good voice. I will give him that. We don't have to be so quiet. I mean, it is time for these kids to wake up. You know. It sounds like we have our house together. Right. <laughs> we got to have a talk about this afterwards. Our we have a family are, meeting. Our kids are just not <clears throat> on the right track. Well, I've been out of it. I, I, I told you right before we got the mics heated up that uh, I went on a two-week sober streak. Oh, yes. Completely sober. Mm-hmm. No study drugs, no, uh, no drinky, no, no smoky, weed. No smoky, nothing. No nicotine. Gum. How about caffeine? I, I pulled it back. I couldn't I, – I did the bang energy drinks because I needed a little something to work out. Oh, well, so, I mean – But that's – That's, that's pa- like enough caffeine for the day. Usually. Yeah, but it, like I'm a caffeine kind of guy that like I could drink that. <clears throat> I don't even know why I drink them because it doesn't really have an effect. Yeah, I was going to say. You know the people that are like, I can't have coffee after two because I'll just I, – I, I'm up all night. I'm like, I can drink a fucking pot. Right. Like Chris I Farley. Fall asleep like a baby. Yeah. I've been drinking. I've been drinking a pot of coffee in a van down by the river, and just go right to sleep in that van. Yeah, it's a good van. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it's uh, all, all I had was headaches for two weeks, so that probably means um, you know you have a problem. Uh, probably, I was I was drying out. I think you know. Well, for sure, I did get more clarity towards the end. I would say. <laughs> you know what. Drinking is good. Well, I, I think I'm going to keep drinking. I think I, I think I'm good at it. Um, I don't like it too much. I don't like any of it too much. I don't. I don't know. Like, yeah. like I, I, I took 20 milligrams uh, coming off of being sober and was high, like uh, uncontrollably high. Eight marijuana. No. 20 milligrams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you which specify. Uh, not everybody knows what you're eating. Yeah, what I well, I I would eat like a ten, you know, to be a better parent after six p.m. Right, um, and that would be fine normally. But since I I dried out, I was like, ooh, I'm starting to see stuff. Yeah, <laughs> why would you go higher than normal? I don't after know. Drying out. I I don't. I think I took one and I forgot. Uh, ate it. Classic. Because yeah, you know, I'm I'm making dinner for the kiddos. I'm, I'm you and know. You thought to yourself, 
Better have one. Did I have safe. one? Did I have one? Better be safe and eat another one. I was one. like, I can handle 20. And then smash cut to me uh, on the couch with both my kids on me. And I'm crying watching Bluey. Because, dude, it might be my favorite show. <laughs> what? I've never even heard of that. <laughs> it's a cartoon. <laughs> yes. On Disney. Okay. Your kids are a little too old for it. I'm glad, um, yeah, I'm glad the Disney Channel's no more. Well, no, house. it's it's it is like Simpsons good, like Simpsons season two to seven good. Really, uh, for a kid show. How about SpongeBob compared to? I mean, because SpongeBob is legit. SpongeBob's, but it's irreverent. It doesn't like <clears throat> it does. There's no lesson from SpongeBob. There's no. That's what makes it cool. No, yeah, it's just absurd for these. I don't think there's like a real like meaning behind any of the stories. No, right? Not really. I guess, but I mean, I've seen some of the funny stuff, funny stuff I've ever seen on that show. Really? Oh yeah. <clears throat> There's a thing where SpongeBob's selling uh, something door to door, and he's trying to be like all cool, and like this old lady comes to the door, and she's like, "Oh, hello, young lady. Can I speak to your mother? Is she home?" Mm-hmm. And she's like, "Yeah, ma." And then they roll out this like brown, <laughs> like shriveled up looking thing. It looks like a piece of poop with a mouth. It's great. It's it's very Ren and Stimpy to me. Yeah, it's absurdist. Yes, uh, sure. Which I like. I'm fine with it. But Bluey, there would be there's an episode of, like they're only ten minutes long, right? That's a plus. And like, there's an episode about like not bothering your dad while he's talking to another adult. Oh, okay. I and I'm like, show. oh my god, <laughs> that's what got. I love this so much. Sorry, I'm emotional. Yeah, uh, there's one. You know, Florida's never really been depicted in any Christmas, like any hot weather state. If you're in like Arizona or Southern That's California. True. That's not true. What? Home Alone too. They show Florida being an absolute shithole. Right. They're in a motel room with everybody. They went from Paris to fucking Daytona yeah, Beach or something. Yeah, what happened, dude? What <laughs> yeah, happened? Really bad times. That job must have gone away. They didn't show that house the second one. Yeah. Did what? they? Uh, yeah. He's, oh, he's in New York, right? He's at the plaza. Right. But I mean, did they still have the why house? Why are they in, the in New York? Who? Why is the family? I mean, why is the family in Florida? If he's in New York. Yeah, that's the whole movie. Yeah, no, but I mean, like, first off, get your shit together. All right, like, don't have so many kids. If you do, can't a keep track count, of them. do a head count. Do a head count. God damn, you already had an epic, epic fail last Christmas. I know. Do a line leader. The thing. following Christmas, exact same thing happens. Yeah, is if, if Home Alone one John Candy is there helps her out. Yeah. All right. He, he's in a no show. It's I, just Trump and two. Yeah. And the, the bird lady. Ironically, Trump's the only person nice to the child throughout <laughs> the whole movie. Sure. It's right down that way. Or whatever he said. That's our president. Yeah. That's our future president. Or how about the cops in the first one? They're like, sure, lady. You want us to go to your house and make sure your kid's okay. All right. Right. It's like. We got another wacko they're, on line two, whatever they say. They're it's in a like, neighborhood that those cops, that's what they do. Like, they just check in on shit. <laughs> right. It's like an idyllic what neighborhood. What else do you have to do? Yeah. Bluey. Those, so, look, Bluey, are you done breaking down Home Alone? In just, all I mean, they did those movies. Foibles? Yeah, they just traumatized us in our, at our age. It's like, all right. Oh, co- you traumatized? Are, all, the, all, all adults are assholes, according to that movie. Oh, I was just about all about the prank part. Like, oh, can I set up like pulleys and Oh, sure. You know, there's a lot of pulley talk when you're 7. Right, a lot of booby traps. <laughs> right. Like, can I could I fake it to sound like I'm a real old guy when the yeah. pizza man comes? Yeah. Exactly. Like, that it, it's for a kid watching that movie, it is the uh castaway fantasy a lot of old men have. Right. Like, could I I, I could could I survive in, on Castaway? Mm-hmm. That's all that the movie really is about. Is everybody's like, could I do this? Yeah, everybody's inner demon. Yeah, and well, or survival instincts. Like, it, would you use a skate on your tooth for dental? No. Yeah, I would have died. I I would I would have died of gum disease. <laughs> we probably <yeah. laughs> would have been like, nope. <laughs> yeah, my kid can't even show me a wiggly loose tooth. Uh, <laughs> Oh, by the way, it's it's adorable when you have a six year old boy. He has got no teeth, so he oh, looks like a total hillbilly. Talking like this no. all the time. <laughs> well, first off, I'm always like, man, is his gum gonna hit something? Because I just like, oh, because the gum's so sensitive, you know. Yeah, but you know, he's got other teeth to hold the. To I know, stop I know, it. but like, it's just 
it, the outside is flush with gum, right? Like his first two teeth, they yeah. haven't dropped in yet. Um, we were watching, we started watching like uh, music videos from the 90s. Like I was blowing their mind. Okay. Uh, and I played uh, a lot of Chick. Chris Isaac. No, I, we didn't get to that. We didn't get to Wicked Games territory. Uh, we uh, no, I was like, um, I forget. I was showing my daughter like Whitney Houston, and I was like, she's awesome. She's the best. Like, no doubt. I try to show her the national anthem that takes place in the old sombrero in mm-hmm. Tampa, and Super I go, Bowl this 25. was amazing. We were in Kuwait. It was a bit of a desert golf. But he still trusted the government. It was kind a of. big deal. And she's like, this is boring. Yeah. I was like, God damn it. I could have timed this. Yeah. Um, they and, don't get it. And then I showed Mariah Carey. I'd never seen the video for, you know, that's the most famous Christmas song, the Mariah Carey Christmas song. Yeah. The one she wrote. Well, I didn't know that she made it. She made a new music video because now she's hot Mariah. Now she is. Well, dude, 2019 Mariah. Everybody likes 2019 Mariah. I'm telling you, like this music video is like, okay. whoa. You'll have to show it to me. Uh, I might have to bring it up because yeah. part of it, I was like, I don't know if I can even show this to the kids. Really? Because they're for they're, a Christmas song. The, the... <laughs> I'm telling you, it's so bomb. Um, all I want for Christmas, the most played Christmas song they say of all time. See, I looked up film film date just so I know <laughs> what Mariah was dealing with. <laughs> How old was she at this point? Uh, I mean, can we talk, you know, I think we talked about it last year, all the inappropriate, uh, oh my God, it, inappropriate Christmas songs. Because the song Rocking Around the Christmas Tree, I don't give a fuck what you say. They say, everybody have some fucking pie. I know it's supposed to, they say it's pumpkin. No, yeah. it's not. They say the word fucking. I'm sure of it. Okay. That's a new one. <laughs> I've never heard that. No. Yeah. All right, so uh, because even the uh, the new versions, people say it the same way. So look, and they're all laughing. Little at girl us. looking at Mariah Carey is like almost uh, FAO Schwartz kind of store. Uh, Mariah is. She's like looking the, pretty good right there. Well, she's like she's a doll. Yeah, but I mean, in, in a onesie Santa outfit, that ain't bad. You know, that's what I thought she looked like. Oh, oh okay. Just wait. That's just. The, I was just surprised you said two thousand like nineteen version was oh the and then I, version. i'm gonna scoot scoot this film oh uh, hold on she's in a marching outfit not bad either it gets even better um so i started going i started going to my son you have a crush on right okay look at that in a ball gown <laughs> yeah. you see what i'm saying yeah i was like i don't know if we can watch this anymore because uh, oh, of the cleavage? I mean, it is out. And the kids are asking questions like, why is her shirt open? And I'm like, I Oh, really? Know. Okay. <laughs> like, that's her style. She's a she's a pop, pop star. She can kind of do what she wants. And I'm like, Trip, you have a crush on Mariah Carey? He's like, no, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> that's all I was getting to. I was just getting him to go, no, no, I don't. That's a good one. And I go, I go, all guys have a crush on Mariah Carey. Don't worry about it. Right. Well, the one... Uh, I learned this from my daughter who was trying to wrestle my uh, my nephew and she was like trying to get him to stand still. She's like, Connor, if you don't stand still, it means you like me. He's like, what? No. And he stood perfectly still. I was like, God. And then they overcorrected. Like, and he's oh. like, I only like guys. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was. <laughs> and you're like, okay. <laughs> That's where the conversation has to end because yeah. we're so woke now. Yeah. And you can't be like that is okay. You can't be like that no, good. son. That is okay. I am okay. So my with that. buddy Liam and I are getting married. And you're like okay, all right. That sounds pretty cool. Hey you man, know? if you can, if you can make it work, make it work. If you're into it, I'm so happy. And I was like, Mister Eric and I talk about that all the time. We wish if we weren't so repulsed, it would be great. I know I won't have to touch you. If my biological yeah. instinct it wasn't to yak everywhere. Yeah. Speaking uh, of which. Yeah, I, I puked. Uh, so there's a thing going around. I, some people call it RSV, I think. or I, My buddy said it was norovirus, which I guess was an old school term. But he's like, I've had it three times. It sucks. It, it's all from daycare. Mm. Uh, my daughter got sick on uh, Christmas Eve uh, or kind of Christmas Eve Eve, right? Mm-hmm. Like that night, she like puked a little bit. And I was like, okay, well, kids, they throw up every now and again. Just randomly. It's not like they party. 
you know? Mm-hmm. They're, I know. They're not like, we just got back from Sturgis. They're like, you're hungover. Shut up. Yeah. And so, um, <laughs> actually, that's that's what I'm offended about. When I told everybody on Christmas I was sick, that they were like, sure, mm-hmm. buddy. Late night last <laughs> I was night? I like, mm-hmm. I've been sober for two weeks. Right. Um, sure, yeah. And then you have to explain why you had to be, go sober for two weeks. You're like, ah. <laughs> yeah. Let's just leave it alone. So You're right. I was I'm hungover. So uh, I got up at like 3.30 Christmas morning. Kids are at their mom, so it's just me and the dog. And then uh, – you know, I get up and I'm like, oh man, this my stomach is like, did I have gas that woke me up? Like, I haven't had that in a long time. You know, yeah, where you got Midnight farts. Poop. Yeah, I don't like. Well, I did eat like a mixture of meatballs. Uh, uh, what was it? Um, my brother-in-law makes from that milk punch. What? It's like whiskey and ice cream. What? With nutmeg, it's fucking awesome. He makes it every uh, Christmas Eve. Um, Sounds like. Good tasting eggnog. It, it's really good, and he saves it. He used to save it right before you like. You're getting a good buzz. You're like, all right, time to go home and go to sleep. And he like put his hand on my shoulder and be like, we have to make a trampoline. And you're like, fuck. You're right. <laughs> I was like, god damn it. You're 100 percent right. This is the word. Like he was so good at timing that. <laughs> like I, I swear to God, like five years in a row, and I was so dumb every time. I'd be like, like have a good buzz and like. All right, my parents are going to drop me off at my place on the way home, and I'm just going to go to sleep. Sure, can you just give me a hand real quick? <laughs> it's like – It take two seconds. And then <clears throat> because I'm the tech uncle, I have to like build – I have to do all the right. – anything that's related to anything gadget-wise. And I'm like, this is all plastic. I can't I can't work with See, this. See, that's what's cool, uh, <clears throat> not having the kids Christmas Eve. So like – I pro- know, Yeah. Rocco got a papa shot. From oh, you Santa, set yeah, you, Santa set everything up. Yeah, Santa magically set it up when we <clears> got here. But if you had been there, it would have been all day Christmas Day. Daddy's in there putting together the Papa shot, right? And all that stuff, and yelling, just yeah. inanimate objects. Yep, um, it's yeah. actually pretty easy to put together. It should be. I can't imagine it. Like I went to my other brother in law's house; they're building a trampoline. No lie, last <laughs> a couple you of days. Building. It's assembling, but it's like. Okay. Have you ever done it? Yes. So what the we springs are a bitch. Well, what I did wrong ten years ago was <clears throat> when you do the trampoline, you're supposed to you go, go opposite. Opposite. Yes, you did it all on the one. We side. did it the hardest way, like every rivet, like onto the next one, onto the next. one. Right, right. As you're making it around clockwise, and it was so hard. We had to get three guys to go. <sighs> It's yeah, cool. yeah. You, I mean, otherwise you'd have to go one by one backwards. That was that. Uh, you had enough. Uh, I thought I'd throw my tramp, trampoline expertise in the mix. Yeah. I'd stop by and be like, "Hey, you guys doing this correctly?" Oh, you are. Shit. Okay. Yes. I don't um, know why I'm here? But the, but he was stuck at the. He had made the bottom part, but you forget now. All the tramps have a gate around it, like a awning kind of thing. Right. I don't think that helps. Keep the paralysis in the tr- inside. Does that really keep perimeter. kids in? I guess. I guess it, it it lets them not jump out. Think they can jump out. You know, if they can get out of there over that thing, they deserve it. <laughs> yeah, they're good for you. They got ups. Um, yeah. If you can get over a six foot like awning that has a almost like a Dallas Stadium, Dallas Cowboys Stadium, right? A little tiny roof. Yeah, with an opening in the top. Um, Shit roof. So I I got up and I was like oh and I started watching The Punisher because well, why not um, uh, at three thirty in the morning comfort movie I was like ah, I uh, love The I Punisher forgot you were watching the show my bad yeah um, no the movie I watched too many times it's like Aerosmith to me like uh, Aerosmith's my favorite band but I can't I don't really put it on because they haven't made any new music so I know every single they've ever had yeah. You know, so I have to go away from it to come back. Same with the Tom Jane Punisher. Yeah, don't hold your breath on the Aerosmith new music. <clears throat> well, they're still alive. You know, they got honking on Bobo. What's that? <laughs> it was like a blues album they made like ten years ago. It was bad. Um, and so, you know, when when they when musicians start getting into other genres, it's always a good move. <laughs> and so, um, side note, uh, I'm in the kitchen Christmas Eve. My niece is talking about my sister. My oldest sister took her to see Kenny, Kenny Loggins. Weird. I, I was like, have you guys been listening to the show? Because no, that's our why? BFF. 
Yeah. And they were like, what are you talking about? Any word like, back? I tried to show him. I'm like, I, he or his Instagram team follows me on, on Instagram. And they're like, okay. And I'm like, you don't – you just talked about – Kenny Loggins. You just talked about how cool – Patty Jack. You're 20 years old and my sister's, what, uh, 48? So it's like, yeah, I'll fucking age her. Um, <laughs> uh, like, you guys you guys love Kenny Loggins and you don't think this is fucking amazing that – I try to tell them the whole story. What I'm like, and they're just like, nah. And I'm like, give me shit. money. You've never brought up Kenny Loggins my whole entire life. <laughs> Right, and you're my nie- and then I looked at my niece. I'm like, you're 20. I'm surprised you know who he is. She's like, I love him, and I was like, oh, that's okay. Oh, so coming off the heels of that was like, I, I spent about an hour in the kitchen just dissecting that. Yeah, um, and then uh, so but go back to Christmas morning. I get up and I was like, oh man, I'm gonna fucking chunder, and um, I make it about three steps and just collapse. I wish I had the video because it, because I started laughing too. Cause I, th- <laughs> cause you like, barf and diarrhea this, all over yourself. This would be the most psycho video. Have you seen, um, I think we've brought it up on the show. Vanilla sky. Have you seen that movie? Yeah. When Tom Cruise looks in the mirror and he just starts like, <laughs> Oh yeah. And he's all fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he just starts laughing at That's himself. You. Yeah. I just started doing barf and diarrhea, but I was like laughing like a maniac, like fight club. <laughs> like, Throwing up and then going. <laughs> yeah. No, I've been sick like that before. At one of my best friend's weddings and then pretty much got all the groomsmen sick. <laughs> Friend of the program, JP, was like mm-hmm. holding his butt cheeks together with his hand. <laughs> and as soon as as soon as the wedding's over, it was like bride and groom and JP <laughs> fast walking past them. <laughs> so the, it was it was bad. Oh, man. I, like the- And it was like, it was like, you know, we had two rooms for a bunch of dudes oh. and it was like we all got closer that night one person barfing into the sink the other one's on the toilet shitting uh, and barfing into the, the tub that probably beats my story for sure mm. I, well i um i gave a best man speech with like hallucinating i could barely see straight and they're like this guy's just wasted oh yeah that was after the dad had written a song and the the sister Maid of Honor had like written a children's book. And, oh my and I'm God. like, I just got done pooping my pants. <laughs> You're like, I'm going <sighs> to wing this one. Tough, I got it. T- tough crowd. Ooh. Um, so, so yeah, like I comically when I barfed on the tree, uh, symbolically, one of the lights went out like on the tree, <laughs> like just like, just bad. Uh, puked on about seven gifts. I had under this tiny tree and then was just laughing like a maniac. And, uh, women won't give you any credit if you're sick ever. Yeah. It's been this thing where we get it. You go to the doctor a lot. We don't do that as guys. We just don't do it. Yeah. But they have to, they get sick all the time. They've opened wound as a thing that they have to deal with all the time. Yeah. Like, Oh man, being a woman, that would be rough. I don't know why any guy would want to change sexes to have to deal with that if they did the whole operation. Does that? I don't know. Does it, Even if you don't have to deal with the once a month thing, you still got to upkeep. You know? Uh-huh. That thing's tricky. I don't know how it works. Obviously. You know? What? Upkeep? Many women have told me that. I don't know how it oh, works. Okay. Um, well, me neither, so. <laughs> so, so like... uh and then I turned into like such a little bitch because I hate throwing up. I, I'm like the Seinfeld episode. Like if I can avoid throwing, I'm like I haven't done this in ten years. You ever seen that episode? Yeah. yeah. I'm like, oh man, I fucking hate it. And then like you're just fucking, but like ju- this norovirus or whatever sweeping through this area. Apparently, every parent I've talked to, except for you, means you're gonna get it. Soon. Yeah, I know. I wonder who I'll get it from. Uh, well, that's the problem. It lay dormant, so. Christmas Eve, I, I felt fine, and I had been watching my daughter, like uh, the whole day before in that morning. She had it for a day. It's a day, like, and then I was like, "Well, I feel good. I didn't catch it. It's probably a little kid thing, you know." And then well, was it with everybody in my family? <laughs> Christmas Eve. I mean, have you heard any feedback? Is anybody no, else sick? No, but it may catch them. Because just, you just 
keeping your distance. So uh, chundered everywhere. I had to explain uh, Santa couldn't save the gifts under the tree. They were uh-huh. already there. Santa puked all over your gifts. Yeah. Santa, I, I had to. You know, Santa I, gets credit for everything. You can also blame him for stuff. I did a lazy dad move where I just trimmed the he, the hedges I barfed on and threw them away. Okay, so you have a real tree? Yeah. Oh. I go real tree every year, man. You go fake tree? Yeah. Yeah. It's a pain in the ass. Real tree? I know, but it's like one of those dad things. I'm like, you should do this. It's not that. It's, it takes. I got it. I got it like Lowe's on the way over here. Yeah. but like, I tried to stop by the church one. kids give a shit? Um, I like the smell of it. Oh. I like the pine smell. All right. Well, if that's that's the deal. Okay. And look, all these holidays for kids are are massive, like waste of time. I'm not. I can't just. Some things you're just gonna have to do like that. I just feel like getting a real tree is like, just do it. Don't be a tacky New Jersey family or something. We have a fake tree, and it looks good. Get it set up, in and five it works. Minutes, you I, know. Yeah, that's fine. But also, I don't have a garage space anyway, so it's not like it's gonna go anywhere yeah that's true you'd have a christmas tree up all year yeah no i get it down the next day dog i am on that i know i it, want to it never goes up before thanksgiving and it never stays up before uh, if you make it to uh, new year's eve you trash dude i'm battling with my 10 year old on it i said we, yeah we can leave you it have up, to you're gonna have to pull a dad to, mandate well i said you have to decorate it for every every <laughs> Holiday, yeah, that comes up. That'll stick. First one, Martin Luther King Day. So get <laughs> figure it out, and you know what are you gonna hang from the tree? MLK tree, <laughs> right? Dude. That's what I said. <laughs> I said it's gonna be. You know, I got dark real quick, right? That's what I told. No I said, intended. listen, that is a minefield. Yeah. So good, good luck. That's a three day weekend too. So that's a biggie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, you know. So. I don't know if you do this. I turn in like the biggest bitch ball, like uh, throw up when you throw up when you're like that sick. You're like, I don't like this anymore. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I'm like, I don't want this. I'm saying this out loud. Like, yeah. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> like shaking. Yeah, I don't get like in that. a fetal position. I'm like, I when your nose feels like it has a wasabi in it. I do more of the like, get it over with, get it done. And think about how clean you'll feel afterwards. How light and airy. Not at the beginning. This was a bit, this was four in the morning. Like I didn't make it to the bathroom, so there's just puke uh-huh. out everywhere. And so it was just puking. Well, it started that way, uh-huh. <clears throat> and then yeah. and then it starts hitting you like Montezuma's Revenge, where you're doing the move. This is the first time I ever barfed drinking in like seventh grade. I think I had like seven Budweisers, uh-huh. and like. Had to take a shit because I think I got diarrhea from from drinking probably that that young, and was like shitting. I don't know if that's a thing, but <laughs> it probably was not eating well as a thirteen year old. Yeah, probably had nine hundred pounds of Taco Bell and sitting on on a toilet, throwing up in the tub yep. while shitting. Yeah, I did that move for a couple hours. Yeah, and your butthole's like it's uh, it feels like a fucking lemon. Just squeeze like it, yeah. you know, like it hurts. Like yes. it's like, ooh, does my does my asshole have a rind to it? Yeah. <laughs> so please don't sit back down. Please don't sit back down. Right. Every time I get up, it was like, mm, I don't think so, buddy. <laughs> you're you're here for a while. Yeah. Um, and then like chunks of undigested stuff in the tub. Uh huh. Cool stuff. Yeah. And there's no garbage disposal in there. Nope. Guess what you're doing. Uh, well, that that's the other part I was thinking about. I was like, I got no significant other. I got no one to be like, let me clean that up for you. But nobody take care of you. But I was thinking about it. Even if I did, they'd be like, bitch, clean it up yourself. <laughs> and I came back out to the living room. My dog licked it all up. <laughs> oh yeah. I had a story like that. <laughs> and he's fit as a fiddle. He didn't throw up. He's fine. I had, did I ever tell you how I had to poop in the woods in the Everglades? Uh uh-uh. Staying at a place that there was a bunch of, you know, I, think I was like 28, maybe. I don't remember. <laughs> but like, <laughs> there's a bunch too old of people. For whatever this is going to be. There's a bunch of people in one house, and there's basically one bathroom. And it was in the morning, and it was like, I don't know about you. Sometimes I wake up, it's like poop time. I got poop. And I woke up. It'll either Some, hit, it hits me right away like that, yeah. or it'll be like coffee. Boom. Yep. Yeah. But uh, somebody was in the bathroom. I was like, oh no. 
oh no, what am I going to do? So I like run outside. I'm like, fuck, oh. fuck it. I'm going to, I'm just going to do it. And I went outside and first of all, every movie they show you, they like, you, they show you like, oh, you pull your pants down and just go. It's like, I, no. do, that, I do that. And I'm like, oh, I'm about to shit all over my own right. pants. No, you have I'm to, like, you no, have to I do a do. box. You have to do a wall sit. Right. Or like a tree lean, like you hold a tree and then That's lean smarter. backwards. Yeah. Um, I would just work the hammies. Yeah. Uh, but that's tough. Um, but it came out so fast and hilariously that I was like, <laughs> this is so good. I got to show everybody. But you, so you have to like keep your pants up, like they're high water pants mm-hmm. because there's going to be a splash zone. Sure. So yes. It's going to be a Gallagher concert. Down. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but I was like, I got to go show everybody. And I'm like walking back because it's a decent walk, 200, 300 yards or so. And as That's I'm walking back, you. we had brought a bunch of dogs. Dogs run past me. And I like go get a couple Ugh. of the guys. I'm like, check this out. And I'm like, look at this. And they're all like, the dogs, sure enough. Ugh. But they Did had they eaten barf? It. They had eaten it before we had figured it out and returned to their masters. <laughs> And her, you know, oh, oh, give me kisses. Oh, no, that's so funny. And I was like, no, but ever shut up. You should have just like, did Poop not. in the woods. Oof. That, why, why were you in Lake Okeechobee? Where was this? Everglades. Yeah. Why were you out there? Um, it was a <laughs> friend who had. A man, a man. His, uh, his grandpa. Men's rights. Was in the Dirty Dozen. The actual like World War Two, like he was the one movie? of the actual. They made a movie about these guys. They're criminals. That they uh, sent on a suicide mission, and his grandpa was actually one that, of them. That's like the Suicide Squad's like original, exactly. Intent. Yeah, and okay. then so as like payment for his service, they gave him a plot of land in the Everglades on federal like property. Like you okay. can't, they can't sell it. They can't do anything with it. They can just have it. Okay, and it's in the middle of nowhere, and it's awesome. Like the spot they have. They like di- dynamited out a lake for it. Like, <laughs> sweet, but like, yeah. not a lot of bathrooms. Another bathroom. And a python sweet. could have gotten you. Sure. And a gator. Yeah. That's sca- that's just, they're like, hey, you can have this shit land. We don't want it. Yeah, exactly. The, that that part of Florida is very scary to me. Oh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I mean, there is legit wildlife that can hurt you. That they had to kill, they had a, a bounty out for people to just go out there and go kill all the pythons because all those fucking assholes they get snakes, they yeah, let snake them go. Guy. I fucking it's, hate snake people. I I, I hate bird people the most, but snake people because mm-hmm. there's just not many that snake people you run into, but bird people, man, if you got a bird in your house, fucking get rid of it. Yeah. They don't like you, it's so annoying. They don't fucking like you, right? First off, crows are the best, but. They they get race they get raced out. People don't like it because they're, they're racist. Black. Yeah, because oh. of Disney. Huh. Remember the crows from Disney? Yeah. They're like three black guys essentially oh, yeah. <laughs> on, on, huh. on a telephone bowl, which isn't a great oh, shit. a great metaphor for back in the day. Yeah, you never seen a Family Guy do a cut to for that? Oh yes, now that he's mentioned it. <laughs> But, like, I always thought that my whole life. I was like, that's kind of a little weird, subtle racism. I mean, if you go back far enough, there is blatant racism. I mean, we're not even into Dr. Seuss territory. What is this episode about? Pooping? Chundering? Yeah. Um, it's about poop. So, long story boring. I, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll finish this this amazing gala, this this odyssey. Uh, it, it only hit me from, like, 4 a.m. bad until about 12. And then you're like, okay, I think I'm cool. But you're so tired. You're exhausted, dehydrated. Uh-huh. You can't hold anything down. You're scared to drink anything because it's going to come back up. Uh-huh. So you just have to fucking white knuckle it out. Uh-huh. Luckily, Lady Football was there all day. Uh, Not great games, right. but um, the Bucks game was – I tried to stay up for it. And I was like, I'm too weak. I can't do this. <laughs> I don't want this. Uh, And then you're bummed. I was bummed. I missed my, the only thing you want as a parent with the kids is to like, see them run down the stairs and be like, Holy shit. Right. Yeah. (laughs) And I, I hate that. I missed that, but, uh, I'll get them next year, you know? Um, you know, and it's one of those things. How it works, bud. Yeah. Yeah. And I was looking at, I was like, look, the divorce could be a lot worse. It could be very 
we could not we could be a non amicable family and like not have that. I, I'd only have it half the time anyway. So it's it's good that we we do uh, do that collectively. Uh-huh. Um, but then okay, so then my sister the next day the twenty sixth drops off. They had a bunch of uh, extra food from a local place here that's bomb called Wrights. Yeah. One of my favorite, and they had a death by chocolate cake. <laughs> and so I had 20 milligrams, and I was starving because I hadn't eaten anything, and I just ate this death by chocolate cake. Like, my daughter didn't finish a piece, and I was like, well, I just lost about 40 pounds. I can do this. There's no red flags with the name here or anything. And then just fucking pounded, like, a oh, triple layered, like, death but a huge and then the the 27th I, my mom is dropping off gifts we're dropping it off like covid times like they don't want to get sick so they're drop, putting in the parking lot getting in their car mm-hmm. i'm grabbing it dead drops yeah um and then uh my mom's dropping stuff off and i was like oh i gotta go i gotta go i gotta go i gotta go and just fucking chat all day the 27th like pre colonoscopy day <laughs> where they give you the the whatever stuff yeah clean you out stuff yeah i used to, man i don't even know what it's called i used to do this in my act um but talk about <laughs> the day before the colonoscopy is the worst day of your life <laughs> cuz you just shit for out hour, like hours <laughs> it's like a super la- it's like someone gave you mexican water to drink yeah. and like here you go bud oh, i forgot got that coming up I probably need to do that. Yeah, you're almost 40. Yeah. Well, my dad had colon cancer. Oh, yeah. That too. Yeah. yeah. You should You should definitely go get that. You won't. You'll put it off. I don't want to. I put stuff up my butt. Well, well, the next episode, we'll probably have to do our goals for the year. Oh. You know, your favorite episode. <laughs> and uh, Goal one, nothing up my pooper. No, you got to do it, dude. It's No, it's, it's actually kind of awesome because like – the day before sucks, but you're knocked out the whole time. It's like prison. <laughs> they hit you with socks with Sounds quarters awesome. in it. They jump you in. Um, but no, you bend over. Bitch. You're very vulnerable. Like right before, here's what's going to happen. Right, be- <laughs> this is my favorite part of the whole thing. Right before, how about while it's happening? Oh. <laughs> no, you're out. You're they knock you out. You can't be awake during oh, it. Oh. So it, it's I'm thinking prostate exam. That's yeah. That's a finger. That's different. Then mm-hmm. you probably need that too. Um, I think it, but I think at like forty five. Okay. But the Good. colonoscopy, if you had colon cancer in your family, you have to go do it like this year. Yeah. It's not bad. I swear to God, it's not bad at all. Mm-hmm. But the funniest part all the is you're so vulnerable because like you're in the you're in the gown. And, and they put that humiliating hairnet on you. You don't have to do the hairnet. Um, that's what you think. Maybe as I recall, fall asleep and they're taking pictures of you. Tampon up your nose. Well, no, like they'll they'll have the IV going, and I go. I remember I was like 24, so <clears throat> I'm like, do I count backwards from 99? They're like, if you really want to, if that's what they're you're like, into. you'll you won't make it to 90. And I was like, okay. They're like, all we need you to do is we need you to just lean over on your side. And I was like, huh? Because <laughs> you have no flap. Slowly, you have, you have nothing open. Do it slowly. So you're just like fetal position, like. Yeah. Is yeah. this okay? That slow, slow roll, baby. <laughs> and they're like, you're good. And I was like, well, uh, oh, what yeah, if I roll back over? <laughs> I was like, uh, please make sure I'm knocked out. That's what these handcuffs are for. That's the most vulnerable moment when you're they're like, just lean over on your side. And you're like, oh, man, this is really going to happen. Here we go. And then you have to look over your shoulder. You're like, is this good enough? Yeah. Doctor gives you this double eyebrows up and down. Mm-hmm. See you. Oh, yeah. Well, they were like, you got big butt cheeks. And I was like, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Wasn't a compliment. Yeah. Get your ass waxed beforehand. Just be cool to the doc. No, thanks. Or the nurse. All They're right. not being cool with me. This has been a chundering uh, <laughs> All right. Everybody diarrhea. Clean yourselves. Mm-hmm.